Hey guys, welcome back to Mastering Meals. This one is gonna be like your showstopper. People are coming over, neighbors, and they'll think you're an amazing cook and you really haven't done anything. But the best part about it is that we're gonna be using, what, should I tell them what we're making? Yeah, we should We should probably start there. Should I tell the people what we're making? <laughs> yeah, we are doing shrimp grits. the uh, shrimp and grits is that we're using quick um, cooking and I put them in the microwave quick cooking what grits okay <laughs> it, it helps if I use all the words right yeah yeah so she we get so excited I do I'm just like let's get in it um, so you can buy the grits that you can do on top of the stove they take like 40 45 minutes the instant ones taste just as good it starts with a cup of water but you do need something that um, has some volume to it because as it cooks it kind of comes up so don't put it in a one cup measure because it you'll ruin your um microwave not that i know that firsthand mm -hmm. i read that on the internet right so we're gonna have hannah start and put this in the microwave for us and this is just gonna uh microwave for three minutes so let's just i'll just use give it a little my, yeah get a little zhuzh and she can put that in there and then we're going to turn on our skillet to about medium heat, which on ours is, no, about 350. And it's going to start with zucchini, and I like to uh, put my zucchini on a bias. And that just means I'm going to get more, more um, browning on the zucchini. So just kind of like this, and then we're just going to cut it at an angle, take the top off. And I'll just think I'll just think it looks pretty like this and these only took take like two minutes aside um, fun fact about me is I never ate vegetables growing up because they were all overcooked and I didn't learn that until I was 32 Hannah was eight and I remember her going ordering at a restaurant um, vegetable fried rice which was super unusual for you to even order that and I was like I always made decisions for us <laughs> when she was little and I was like are you sure you're gonna want that? Cause it's got broccoli, it's got all the things. And she was going to town on this and I was like, I have to try it. And I took one bite of the broccoli. It was crisp, tender, it was bright, it was delicious. I was like, a whole new world, like that. Wow. And then I started eating vegetables. So we're just gonna put these. Um, basically fried rice changed your life. Basically it did. Uh, so one of the first times I ever tried shrimp um, cause I was a super picky eater when I, uh, was younger and I think maybe just because we didn't eat a whole lot of different things growing up, we ate kind of the same things over and over again. I worked at a restaurant, it was the first restaurant job I had, uh, Philanders in Oak Park, if anyone is familiar with that area. And, um, the, uh, one of the signature dishes they had on was a New Orleans barbecue shrimp. And it was just these giant shrimp shell on in this spicy sauce had bread that you could dip in. I think that the shop used about a stick of butter per plate. And I remember for specifically, there was this one couple that came in and they were young and you could tell it was kind of like a first date and everything. So they, they got that as an appetizer. And um, because you have to take the shells off with your hand, you, I used to bring like a finger bowl. And so it was just a bowl of like kind of hot water with um, a napkin and lemon and, <coughs> sorry, wow. Um, <laughs> Smoked herself out over there. <laughs> um, so it's a finger bowl, and then you just put, and uh, so I brought it down I, to clear the plates, set down the finger bowl, and you're supposed to squeeze the lemon into the water to kind of wash your hands and dry it, and then you're moving on to your entree. They thought it was soup, and I felt so bad. So they started, and I could see the look on their face like, it just tastes like lemon water. <laughs> and I had to go over, I was like, I'm so sorry. I go, that's to put your fingers to wash your hands because you just 
had all this shrimp juice on it. Oh my god. Um, you know what I also need, Hannah, is um, a spatula. Uh, actually, some tongs. Okay. If you can bring it my way. Uh, let's talk about shrimp while that finishes cooking. That's only going to take like maybe another 30 seconds that I'm going to flip it. I always buy my shrimp frozen because I live in Chicagoland and I am not near a source where I am going to um, get fresh shrimp. And even if you go to the counter, like the seafood counter, even at like Whole Foods or Fresh Marker, Mariano's even, um, all of that shrimp is that's defrost, like fresh, has already been defrosted and free, free, previously frozen. And it'll say that in little um, lines. Oh my God, look at, that's gonna need a Wait, couple more minutes. Say. Yeah, okay. couple more minutes. Um, and it's cheaper to buy um, frozen shrimp too. And uh, Mariana's normally sells their um, shrimp on sale every three weeks, buy one, get one free. So that's when I stock up. It's already uh, deveined. Uh, I, the deveining is at the top of the shrimp, but um, I also take out the line that's underneath the shrimp. You probably don't have to do that. That's just per my personal preference. And this is, look at this nice chaw we got on here, Hina. Don't burn yourself. I that looks good. I've got, 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 got hands of steel. I can touch anything I want. Okay. Um, and I did put the grits in for another two minutes and 30 seconds. So perfect. it's going to be five minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. And the base of this um, shrimp dish is going to be Creole seasoning. And this is just, um, you can find it in the grocery store. There's many different Lowry's. brands. Lowry's is one. I don't even remember what brand it was because I was like trying to be like super organized and be like labeling all my stuff and half of these jars are empty because I never <laughs> refilled them. Uh, and then I'm also going to use um, a little bit of just um, light butter and the cheese is for the grits. So we're going to take the, sh the zucchini out now. Perfect. We're going to put it in this little deli cup. I love these cups. I'm obsessed. I got them at a local GFS, which is like a local um, board and food service. Yeah. And I'm gonna bring that down just, just a notch. And the shrimp, I'm only gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to because most of the seasoning is gonna come with this Creole seasoning. So we'll just give, give it a little zhuzh, give it a little zhuzh. A little bit of love. This is also really good, just like for a super light dish. You can also, make more of the pan sauce and serve it over um, pasta if you want. That would be delicious. I always think of uh, my stepbrother Joe because he loved the Cajun. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Cajun shrimp and pasta, pasta from, from Fridays. Fridays. Yes. Came with a little corner of garlic bread. Yeah, he could eat that like nobody's business. So we'll move this over here just to get it in all the way. Uh, normally we garnish this with um, parsley. Do you think I have any parsley in the house? Nope. So we're using cilantro, but I think cilantro and shrimp go together. These are really only going to take like a minute, minute and a half aside. You know when they're ready, when they start to curl up a little bit, they're opaque and mostly pink. And I would always buy raw shrimp for a cooked dish. Like the, they'll sell like fully cooked shrimp. I would only really use that for um, if I was making like shrimp salad, like, which is cold or um, a shrimp cocktail. Okay, this looks good. How's it looking, Hannah? Yeah, that looks amazing. You can show yeah. the camera. So it's thick. And as it sits, it's gonna get thicker too. It's hot. It's yeah, cool. and this is one serving. Did you know that, Hannah? I didn't, how much? Yeah. It's a quarter cup of grits to one cup of water. So this is very generous. And I wanna say, I'll have the points down below. Um, and just salt and pepper and the cheese is all we're going to need in here. All right, let's flip our, flip our shrimp. And then when this is almost done on the other side is when I'm going to add the butter and the Creole seasoning. Maybe How do you up. know when you've overcooked shrimp? Um, when it's like super dark, like pink and like curled up to nothing. So yeah, we just added half ounce of cheddar cheese. So these are our cheesy grits. How easy can that be? Easy peasy. And now we're gonna add, I'm just gonna scooch. Yeah. Oh, I was like, what happened to my spoon? 
We're gonna pretend we're, we're uh, don't do this in a professional kitchen. <laughs> Use the same spoon. And we're gonna be generous with that. Because we want a nice little pan sauce. And now we're gonna go in with our, about a teaspoon of the Creole seasoning. We want a, a little, a lot of bit of spice. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's all good. We just want to coat all the front. That's it for just a second. And now, we're going to plate. That was so easy. Yeah. So quick. It's, this is great, especially on the nights where you kind of want something homemade, but you don't feel like spending hours in the kitchen. Yeah, this would be a good, like, home from the office. Or... Yep. Or a night when you want to just sit out on your deck and just hang out, you know? Mm -hmm. So there's our and It's cheesy. nice, too, because there's not many perishables, because the, the grits is in your pantry. Staple. Yep. The shrimp would probably be in your freezer. Yep. And then if someone didn't want to use zucchini, what other veg you think would pair? <coughs> Anything they like. I mean, it could be um, string beans, like green beans. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. And now we're adding back in our zucchini. And then we kind of lost some of my pan sauce. Is that hot in there? Yeah, I lost some of the pan sauce because my pan was too hot. But it's okay. That's okay. We're learning. Yeah. <coughs> we'll turn that up. But yeah, look at how quick, delicious, easy that is. I love it. Let's get a better look. Okay. Yeah, how quick and easy was that? I'm going to say if we hadn't been talking and stuff like that, this is probably a seven-minute dinner. Oh, easily. Because we've microwaved the grits, and we just have the Creole seasoning and um, the zucchini. Perfect. Let's give it a bite. We just added a little bit of garnish of some chopped cilantro. You could use parsley, too. But the grits are going to be so light and delicious. I'm going to try to get the perfect bite. A little bit of everything. Although it's really hot, so I'm nervous. Mm. Stop it. It's so flavorful. The grits are light. You get that a slight cheese. Don't um, underestimate a half ounce of cheese. You're going to get just as much flavor. It's only two points of a half ounce of cheese. Um, I'll have the full description down below with all the points and the breakdown and everything. But if you're looking for a quick, simple meal to master, Shrimp and Grits is where you're at.